You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2018, Cycle Day 5. I'm Morgan Reynolds. And I'm Emma Sadowski. Hopefully you all had a nice little two-day break and enjoyed the snow. Yep, let's get to our announcements. Book clubbers, remember we are meeting this Friday, January 19th at 7 a.m. in the library. Weather looks good for Friday right now, but if there would be a delay, we will reschedule. Book club always welcomes new members, so if you're interested, please come by on Friday. Perfect attendance awards for the week of January 8th through the 12th are the following. Ninth, for 9th grade, Noah Johnson, 10th grade, Carly Almo, 11th grade, Alicia Woods, and 12th grade, Caitlin Jenkins. Please pick up your prize in the office. Seniors, make sure you get your order forms from your senior class apparel. The orders are due no later than this Friday, January 19th, which is tomorrow. Orders can be turned into Mr. Mars or the box in the library. Any questions, please see a senior class advisor. Martin Library's 29th Annual Poetry Contest is still going on. Submissions will, need to be ta will be taken until Tuesday, February 6th. Please see your Schoology account for the flyer, your English teacher, or see Ms. Newcomb in the library. Attention seniors, if you are interested in receiving the FCS award, please stop by room 215 and see Mrs. Steger for an application. The athletic department is hosting a college signing day on Friday, February 9th at 215 in the high school gym. Seniors that want to participate in this event should register in the athletic office and pick up information pertaining to the event. Student athletes competing at any level of college um, athletics are invited to participate. This new semester, we are introducing a new staff member to our Bobcat family. Here is Emily Dellinger and Tyler Funk with the report. Teaching may be a stressful job for some, but speaking to Mr. and Mrs. Middleton showed that it can be extremely enjoyable, entertaining, and that Northeastern is a comfortable spot for all. I'm actually really excited to be here at, at Northeastern. It is a, it's a very cool experience already. Not only has Mr. Middleton taught various subjects at past schools, but he'll be teaching something he hasn't taught before. I'm getting to teach some pretty cool subjects. Um, I'm teaching a new class that I've never taught, which was global studies, and I'm actually getting to dig into world religions too, which kind of goes back to my history background, so I'm pumped about that. Mr. Middleton has had experience teaching at other schools and hasn't taught in a while, but this year he's doing something he hasn't done yet. It's definitely a, a new experience. Um, I've been itching to get back into the classroom uh, for a year and a half now. Um, and I'm really excited to get to work with kids again uh, in a classroom setting. In terms of my starting, I'm never starting in the middle of a year, so that'll be a little bit different. Um, but it'll be cool. I, I think um, getting to work with kids is just going to be, be pretty awesome. Mrs. Middleton spoke about her experiences with working with her husband as well. I had worked, I actually met my husband at the school that I um, worked at before and so it's a lot a lot of fun um, it's working with your best friend so it's a good time I enjoy working with him so I'm sure I hope everyone else loves working with him too even if you don't have mr. and mrs. Middleton in class if you pass by them in the halls make sure to say hey or give them a warm welcome to Northeastern High School for High Street Media I'm Tyler Funk Good morning, Northeastern. On Monday, the boys' basketball team played Steel High and won 74-67. Yet another win, keeping our guys undefeated. On Tuesday, the swimming and diving teams had a meet versus York Suburban, and it, but it was rescheduled due to the weather. The meet will now be held on Tuesday, January 23rd. The wrestling team's match on Tuesday against New Oxford was rescheduled for Thursday, January 25th. This will be the guys' senior night, so plan ahead and come out to support them on the 25th. The girls basketball team's game against Eastern was also rescheduled. Their game will now be held tonight. Last night, the boys basketball team had a game against Red Lion. The guys were down 31-28 at the half and came back to win 55-43. For those of you who are non-pass holders for the winter sports season, tickets for the boys basketball team's home game against Dallas Town will be pre-sold today from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the 9th grade office. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. Spectators will be limited to two tickets per person. Make sure you get your tickets early. Now for lunch. Today's lunch will be having hot dog bar and sandwich of the day will be pub burger with fixins. 
Tomorrow's breakfast will be mini pancakes or fruit smoothie. Tomorrow's lunch will be chicken tenders with pasta alfredo. Now, let's send it over to weather. So right now we're looking at cold temperatures as usual, 13 degrees. We are looking at clouds, which isn't that good. Humidity, 73%, wind, 4 miles per hour. Let's take it to the five day. So throughout the week, we're going to be looking at temperatures rising, almost hitting 50. We might hit it on Monday with the humidity, uh, but we will be dropping after Monday back into cold temperatures again. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to be looking at rain, so make sure you're wearing your hoods. Take it back to the desk. Thank you, Tyler. That's all we have for today. Have a great first day of the new semester, Northeastern. Stay classy, Bobcats.